Hello and welcome to another episode of Game On. I am Slash Raptor, and this is Pokemon Shield version. In the last episode, we uh, we made it almost to the gym challenge, but then I realized I was running low on time. So instead, I decided to explore the two hotels in Surchester, and I found absolutely nothing useful except for two wide lenses. But the the one that I like is the scope lens, not the wide lens. I don't know why I needed two wide lenses though. So this is our current team. We have The Beast, Shazam, Sub-Zero, Charizard, Cuddles, and Excalibur. We're going to go ahead and do the, the Ice Gym, which I already know is going to have the same challenge as the, the, sto the, uh, the Rock Gym. But I actually like this one. This one's pretty cool. So I, I remember how to do this. It's fun. I was hoping that I wouldn't lose this one, and I didn't. But the, the Ping Pong or the, the Pachinko Machine one or Pinball Machine one I could have done without... So I'm a little disappointed that you that they didn't bother changing the gyms, but it is interesting how there's different kinds of Pokemon in each gym. Oh yeah, this is way different. But it's like the same at the same time. It's it's interesting. Would you like to hear the details of the gym mission carried out here in Surchester? Then allow me to explain a little about the trap detector you hold in your hands. The reason you'll need it is simple. There are invisible pitfalls everywhere in here. If you fall into one, you'll have to start again from the last platform you reach. The detector will vibrate when there's a pitfall in front of you. The closer the hole, the stronger the vibration. It's such a good vibration! Poor, poor Elizabeth looks so cold, like she's got these little shorts on and there's ice all over the place. They couldn't let me put on normal pants? I like to... My, my favorite thing to do is purposefully trigger all of them, just to see if I can find them all. Because it's kind of satisfying. And then when you... I, I love how when you... Like, if you actually fall, you don't really lose any progress. Because it basically just puts you right back there, and there's no penalty to falling in the holes. But sometimes it's fun to see if you can find them all. And sometimes they put they put them in really weird places that don't really make sense to put them in. So it's it's fun to see like the long convoluted way that they've like rearranged things here. Like oh, well there's that big one. All right, so I think that's all of them here. There might be there might be one this way. No, that was this one. All right, so let's battle this guy. As long as I've got ice type Pokemon with me, I can stay totally chill. Prance. You were challenged by gym trainer Lewis! Haha! -ha. You sent out Snom, and I send out the Beast. For obvious reasons, because I gave him the amulet coin and also because he's a beast. So you gotta use him. Go, beast! Destroy! Dead, done. Moving onwards. And I get double money, because money is good. Wait, uh, what? There's no way I could lose. Yeah, except you did. You sent out a little a little bitty ice bug, and then I flattened it with the beast's pure raw girth. Uh, let's see, what about here? Oh, okay, well I can't go that way. Uh, what about this way? Nope, can't go that way. What about up uh, here? Can't go that way. This is kind of like the the Moss Deep... No, this is kind of like the Sidopolis City Gym in Pokemon Emerald or Ruby or Sapphire. Except in that one, if you made a mistake, you would fall through the floor and then the puzzle would reset. So you had to do it again. But in this one, nothing resets when you lose, so it's really easy. But it is still kind of fun to see if you can find all of the pitfalls. As evidenced by the fact that I'm specifically going out of my way to find them all. Oop, there's one. That's a big one. Oop, there's another one. Alright, let's see if I end up finding all of them in this first area here. Because then they all break after that. If I missed any, then I'll know. Yay, I got them all. Alright, next room. Oh, there's one. Right at the beginning. 
What about this way? Anything over here? Oh, there's one. And what about this way? Oh, there's one. And I'm thirsty. All this talking takes it out of you. Good water. Okay. Now, let's see if there's anything here. Oh, yep. There you go. Now, you can't go that way, but can you go any way over here? Nope, you can't go that way. It's kind of like the opposite of a maze, because normally the walls would already be up and you would see them, so you kind of have to find the barriers. Oh, there's one. Yeah! Okay, so I can't get down here, which means there won't be any down here. But there might be some over here. And there might be one up here. I love doing this. It's so much, it's so satisfying to me for some reason. I don't know why. Like, I, I found out really early that it literally has no effect on them. Like, if it was taking away little bits of your Pokemon's health every time you fell, then I wouldn't be doing this. But nothing happens. It's just something fun and stupid that's pointless. But that's what makes it kind of fun for me. A cluster. Ooh, cool. I'm going to send in the Beast, and I'm going to use his new Wild Charge move that I've never been able to use before. Icicle Spear, yeah, but I've got a, an ability that resists me, that makes me, that lets me resist the damage of Ice and Fire moves, so you're risking your time. And that Cloister clearly has the Skill Link ability because all of his multiple hit moves are going to hit like five times. Wild Charge! Ha ha! Super effective! Da Whoa, that did way more damage than I expected it would. Maybe Wild Charge isn't such a good idea. Maybe we will teach him Earthquake. <laughs> oh no! The Beast! You gotta take it down, buddy! Oh, that thing is so defensive. Uh, let's finish it with one good crunch, I think. Uh-oh. That could be bad. What does that raise? It lowers his defense and his oh it lowers his defenses but it raises his attacks so this should this should kill him because he made himself weaker she made herself weaker there you go that could have been bad though one good hit and I might have gone down there but it's okay we'll we'll persevere and double bunny which is always good all right now bag let's go uh use this lemonade here and then a super potion yay oh there's one anything over here yep can't go that way uh, oops, there's something here, it looks like. Is there something right over here? There, there, there it is. Oh, there's a big one, okay. Oh, that's why. Oh, okay, I thought it was somewhere else. There's another big one. But I think this is the way that you're supposed to go. Oh, there's another one. Another one down, another one down, another one rides the bus, hey! Whoop, there's another one. Whoop, there it is. Whoop, there it is. Whoop, there it is. Alright, let's battle this dude. Gem Challenger, are you aiming to battle Melanie too? Well, why else would I come to the gym? That's the whole point of this, isn't it? A bear tick. Mm. That's a big one! Alright, let's try using Body Slam to paralyze it. 
And then we're gonna metronome and see what happens. Ah! No! No! But I resisted, so it doesn't matter. Take this! <laughs> okay, let's finish it with a metronome, beast. Oh my god! You gotta finish it, beast. You gotta finish it. No! Not double team! Do something! I gotta heal you. No, I'm gonna switch you out, actually. And then we'll bring in Charizard. He can handle that. And he's also un 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 unkillable. Because I just love him so much. He is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, after all. So, yeah. Okay, there. Now you put yourself out. And we're still gonna get... And we'll still get experience for everybody. And we're gonna get double money when Charizard takes you out. So, let's have him do Fire Fang. So satisfying. I love it. That was a really strong one, though. That that thrash did a lot of damage. Yes, I did defeat Gym Trainer Alexander. Don't you forget it, there, game, because that was a pretty good victory. If I don't, if I do say so myself. I almost lost somebody, but I'm just too good to have that be an issue. Alright, I'm gonna save it, just in case. Because you never know when the Switch might decide to start acting up and close me. Did I, did I tell you the story about how the first time I ever turned on Pokemon Sword, it crashed after I got my starter and I had to start the whole thing over again? Alright, let's see if I can find all the remaining holes before we get in here. We're almost out of here. I'm gonna call this episode the Cold Hard Dash as an homage to one of the longest and most difficult levels in the original Crash Bandicoot trilogy. And it was infamous for being a bitch to get the clear gem in. Because you had to backtrack and then backtrack again and then go forward and then backtrack some more. It was really bad. That was in uh, Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back. My personal favorite. Haha! -ha, I got all of them! Uh-oh. Okay, now I'm not gonna bother because with all this mist, I'm not gonna be able to see. So we'll, we'll just do this normally now. Oh! Well, speaking of finding one, there's one. Okay, so there's a trainer up here. Yeah, there's one. Continue forward, even if you can't see where you're going. That's Sir Chester Jim's... That's the Sir Chester Stadium's gym mission. Gym trainer Micah. An Avalug. Cool. I had one of those in my Pokemon Y playthrough. And it's really cool. It's slower than shit, but it's really cool. It's basically just a coffee table, though. Hey, you can't body slam me! I'm the beast, you hear me? You dare paralyze the beast? No, no, no. You don't seem to understand how things work here. You don't paralyze the beast. The beast paralyzes you. You get that? Alright, let's see what this move is. Throat chop! Cool! Even though that thing doesn't seem to have a throat. That was kind of neat. Let's do it again. You're not going to freeze me. I'm already paralyzed. Ah, damn it, beast. Come on. Okay, so now we got to heal the paralysis first. Is that all you can do? Just Ice Fang over and over again? <laughs> We've got 69 hit points left, guys. And that's a fantastic number. Huh. It healed by... Oh. It healed by exactly 120, which is, I think, the max amount that it can heal you by. 
Alright, so now that it's not gonna do that, we're gonna metronome. Go, beast! What do you have? Head smash! Cool! Haha! <laughs> Super effective move, and it was a critical hit, too! Nice! That was a good one! Metronome is so much fun. Oh, I forgot about the recoil damage, though. Oh well, I can always heal him up. The beast is so powerful, I love it. I caught him at level 30, I think, and he's already really, really powerful. It's the one of the only kinds of Pokémon that I ever don't worry about leveling up from level 1. Especially because I'd have to deal with him as a Munchlax, and that's boring. I already have a Munchlax on my Pokedex anyway, I got one from Wonder Trading. I know that it's technically called Surprise Trading now, but I've always called it Wonder Trade, and that's what's stuck in my mind, so... It's, it's, just, it's the same thing. Because you don't know what you're going to get. That's why it's Wonder. Because it makes you wonder what you're going to get. Uh, okay, so we got to go this way. Oops! Oh, I found it in... Uh, I don't know. Huh, I'm getting tired. This will be my last episode for tonight. Oops, I found another one. So many pitfalls, so little time. Ah, no! There we go. We made it. Oh, no! But it's going to start me right here. So now we can see where we're going, at least. There. Good as new. Yeah, see, I didn't bother finding all these ones, so I'm not missing it, but... I'm gonna do... Let's see. So we need to lead with the beast again, I think. And then I have to remind myself to uh, put... To go ahead and get rid of... Wild Charge, and give him Earthquake or something. Gym mission cleared! Ah, uh, uh, here we go! Oh, she's got interesting hair. It looks like a giant snowball. I am Melanie. As you can clearly see, I've assembled a team of all ice-type Pokémon. You, you aren't sore all over from falling in a hole or two, are you? Even if you are, I'm not going to hold back. Already, I suppose we, sh we should get started. You won't be able to escape when I freeze you solid. And after that, well, you'll see. I think you'll find my battle style is quite severe. <laughs> I like her. She's funny. <laughs> I think you'll find my battle style is quite severe. <laughs> and she's got nice big titties, too. I'd, I'd tap that. A Frost Moth! And the way that she throws her Pokeball is pretty <laughs> freaking amazing. Okay, so the Beast is out. And let's have him do Wild Charge on the Frost Moth. I will charge! Ah, yeah! Woo! Ow. Okay, now let's go and Pokemon, and I want to bring in Excalibur! Because Charizard is already super high level. They're all going to get really high level because a lot of them are traded from Wonder Trade. But that's kind of the fun of it. You would think that Pokemon that are that you acquire by trading would actually level up slower because they're not yours originally. But it, no, it's the other way around, and I'll I'll accept it. Uh, okay, so that is a Bug Ice type. So the fighting is super effective, but the Bug makes it not do damage. Iron Head, I think, will still be super effective, so we'll do that.
Yep, I was right. There's that done. Alright, now, what else are you gonna bring? Excalibur, go to level 43! Ow. A Darmanitan, that's a pure ice type. So we're gonna use Sacred Sword. I don't like that afro. I like the concept of an of a Darma of an of a Galarian Darmanitan, because I really like Darmanitan, but I don't like that afro. I think that ball should be smaller. It's like it's so weird. All I have are attacking moves, so it doesn't matter if you taunted me. See? You're dead. Doesn't matter. Makes no difference one way or another. Sub-Zero, go to level 43! Ow. An ice you? What the hell is that? Well, I mean, I know it's an ice type, but I have honestly never seen that before. What the hell is that? Oh, that must be exclusive to S.H.I.E.L.D. version. Okay, well, we're gonna Iron Head it then, I guess. <laughs> That's funny. It had an I it literally had just an ice cube on its head, and then I hit it once, and then it just shatters the ice cube. I love that. It's really cool. Um, so let's do it again if it didn't work the first time. That's super effective against water types, but it's not super effective against me, because I'm a steel type. So, die. And thank you very much. Have a nice day. Silly penguin tricks are for kids. Man, they level up so... They, they level up so fast. Oh, man, now I gotta do a Lapras. I really like Lapras. I wish I didn't have to fight one. I want a Lapras. It's like my favorite water ice type. Even if it cracks, ice is still ice. I'll show you what I mean. So wait, that means there's a Gigantamax Lapras? Uh, okay. Dynamax. Max Lightning! Go, Shazam! Destroy! Why is it- a oh, it's- I was like, why is it a love ball? I th and then I remembered that I didn't breed him. So, it was somebody else's. <laughs> go on, go on in Gigantamax! I'll let you freeze everything solid! I don't think I've ever seen Gigantamax Lapras before. I love the way she throws the Pokeball, that's so cool! And then she, like, gives it a nice hug and, like, nuzzles it before she throws it. That's awesome. Ooh, that is so cool. Its neck gets really long. It's not gonna matter, though. Shazam's gonna one-shot you. Nope. You survived it. Just enough. Max Geyser! It won't matter. I'm gonna be too strong for you. You will never destroy me with just water. That just makes me angrier. Max Lightning! Go, Shazam! Damn it, I'm still not transforming, guys. Ha! This... This is over. I'm sorry, Lapras, but there was no other way. Shazam grew to level 43. Excalibur grew to level 44. Charizard grew to level 44. Cuddles grew to level 42. Cuddles wants to learn Thrash. Ah! Uh, I think I'll get rid of Body Press. Because it's got the same power as Strength, but I can use Strength more times. And Strength has Stab, and Thrash is way stronger, and it also has Stab. So, I think we'll be like this. Good job, Shazam! That was cool!
Good job, Shaz Good job, Shazam. I just want to climb into a hole. Well, I guess it'd be more like falling from here, right? Thirteen thousand four hundred and forty dollars. Very, very nice. You, you're pretty good, huh? Of course, seeing my Pokemon lose is sad, but to meet someone so young with such ability is quite grand. Here, take this sparkling ice badge. Thanks, Miss Big Tits. I will do just that. Oh, that's cool. It's a little ice cube. I love that. I think the overall design of the new badges it looks better together like it than it did in, in Sword version. For some reason, I can't help but imagine my son challenging you after you become the champion. If that time comes, give him a right thrashing, would you? That was cool. Please take this commemorative TM. Icy Wind. <sighs> okay, now... We've got to do some reorganizing right now. So let's see who... What have we got... Okay, so Charizard, you can do this. Bag. Uh, let's put Sub-Zero in here. And we'll bring out Ringo. Put Excalibur in here. And we'll bring in Ashton. I forgot how, how, how far behind Ashton was. And I think we'll stick with those with, with those. Well, we might need a water type, so maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll bring Finn no, maybe we'll bring Chewie out. And we'll get rid of Charizard. We've almost got enough for a complete second party in here. Alright, now let's put this over here. Cuddles goes here. Ashton goes here. This goes here. And that's all good. Now bag. Do I have any of those things left? No, I don't. Okay, give this to the beast. Yeah, and we'll keep the leftovers in here. Alrighty then, that was pretty good, all things considered. So let's talk to this dude. And now purchase more items. Now can I buy full heals? Yes. Full heals. Ah, oh, so good. Sell. Uh, I don't need these. And I don't need these. And we're going to get four of these, and two of those. That battle was brilliant! That gym leader was tough, but you had no trouble. Sir Chester has some really great restaurants. I got some things I want to talk to you about, so let's head to a restaurant to celebrate your win. The name of the restaurant is Bob's Your Uncle. Actually, my uncle's name is Steve, but that's... that's okay, I, I guess. You can call him Bob if you want to, Sonya. Bob's Your Uncle! Oh, and Hop's in here, too. Got that gym badge, Elizabeth. Nice one. Oh, hey, there you are. I've been trying to find out more about the darkest day in the Sword and Shield Pokemon, but still no luck. Wait, hold on. No way, what's this? A fifth tapestry! The heroes look sad, and where are the Sword and Shield? What was the meaning of this picture? An end to the legend? 
Hmm, perhaps when their duty was completed, they went into some kind of sleep. Based on those statues we saw back in Stoan's side, the sword and the shield were actually two Pokémon, right? That's right. That's my take on it, at least. You remember the Pokémon we met that day? Do you think it could have been one of them? Either the sword or the shield Pokémon? You met them? Come on, you know what I'm talking about, right, Elizabeth? In the slumbering world. The mad Pokémon we ran into in the fog. Don't you think that could have been it? Oh, that's right. You have you lot have been in the slumbering world. I only started on this journey because my grand told me to, but this is turning out to be too much fun. You've got to tell me more. How about we discuss this over a meal? Go on. What do you want to eat? Let's get our let's get your orders in. I, I could go for a pizza. I could always I'd always down for pizza. Fascinating. All right. The next thing to do now that we're done eating is to have a look around Sir Chester, and let's inspect this hero the hero's bath. Uh, I don't want to inspect the hero's bath. The hero's bath. They say this is where the two heroes came to soothe their wounds after the battle, to bring down that evil presence long ago. Nowadays, only Pokemon really use the hero's bath, though. Hmm. Who exactly were the heroes that bathed here? Uh, I think I'll have to look into that. You two met a mysterious Pokemon back in the slumbering world. Perhaps you two could become new heroes. What, like some hero waving around a sword and shield? Pull the other one. Though I guess I'd fancy a sword if I had to pick. What kind of battle do you think the heroes had back then? Why don't we show her, Elizabeth? Think we can pull off a really heroic battle? Give me a minute. Alright, I get it. Prepare as much as you like. And that's all the time I have for this episode of Game On. Thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you right back here in the very near future, where we will continue to play more Pokemon Shield version. And until next time, peace out, and as always, Game On. See ya!